Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about very very important package called PM2. So PM2 is basically used in Node.js. So it's very very handy when we're, whenever we are going for any production develop deployment. So PM2 is used. It is again a package that we installed from npm. So let us start the video and we will discuss how we can use PM2 package for all the deployment related things that we do in Node.js. So friends, if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button so that you get important updates whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel. So we'll discuss PM2. Again, there are many, many advantages of PM2. First of all, it is going to keep your site up. Anytime if there is any issue, your application crashes, it will restart the server and PM2 will make your application back so that users can use. Whenever a server is restarted, it's automatically again restart the uh, PM2 so that your node APIs, they are live. Node APIs are accessible to the front end. So there are other benefits of Node, uh, this PM2 also. We can have the concept of clustering that is again integrated with PM2. The clustering that Node.js provides that is inbuilt. We have to write a lot of code in order to implement the cluster part in Node.js. But if we are using this PM2, that clustering part, again, clustering is very important because in that case, you can have the concept of load balance and other things. So we'll discuss that in the next video. But here, just wanted to discuss about this PM2 uh, package manager, you just need to install using your uh, node package manager, this npm node package manager, and you can install this PM2 and G is for globally. So it will be accessible all over your system. Once that is done, like very simple, like you can just start PM to start app.js and it will show you again, it's very simple thing, but again, it's not limited to this, just uh, starting a simple application. Like we have node mon that again, uh, it monitors and then it restarted whenever there is an, a change in the application it, it refreshes and then those changes are there i mean we are not going to uh, restart the server again and again but if you're talking about other features the good feature of pm2 is like uh, we can, can create microservices we can have a clustering part where we can define uh, if uh, if a server has like uh, 16 vcpus so we can distribute those 16 vcpus to different different microservices or if we, if we can use the maximum of this vcpus so that it boosts the performance of your apis so this is all about pm2 that is a very good package for deployment of node.js application so friends if you like this video please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video